Ladies and gentlemen, our last comic for the evening, and then we'll take a break and do some uh, let's do some improv. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremiah McEwen. So I, I saw the box wine on my way in, so I'll try to make this short so we can all go enjoy ourselves. <laughs> on my way here, my wife was trying to tell me, she's like, what are you going to go joke about? You have no material, you plan nothing. And I'm starting to think, what do people joke about? Well, they joke about their differences. Well, let's see, why am I different? Let's see, I'm not a minority. I'm not a woman. I'm not... Okay, so I'm fat, <laughs> and uh, after 30 seconds, I have nothing left. Oh, wait, no, this, this isn't even a watch, it's a Fitbit. <laughs> My boss decided to get me this for Christmas, which was a nice gesture. She said, I got you something I thought you would enjoy, but you wouldn't get for yourself, which sounds very pleasant until you think about what she actually means. <laughs> I realize that your fat ass needs to get off of the couch, but your lazy ass won't go buy one for yourself. So, uh, so I've got the Fitbit. I'm, I'm doing my walking, and I walked here. Yay! Don't get too excited. It's like five blocks. And uh, I'm thinking, well, what what else makes comedians awesome? Well. Most of them have some tragic story in their life. You know, they're alcoholics or they're druggies or, you know, they've got some serious things messed up in their heads that makes them funny. Well, what do I have? Let's see. I did tech support for five years. And apparently these people have too, because they know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I used to do tech support for SBC, the the wonderful internet company that it is. And this was back in 2002, before people had things strapped to their face and computers in their hands. And we would send these people network cards to put inside their computers. Now think about it, most of these people can't turn the computer on, and we're asking them to do the technological equivalent of surgery on their computers. Okay, so this lady calls me up. She's telling me she's having a hard time putting this card in. Okay, I get it. All right, fine. She says, it doesn't fit. Okay. Well, you know, they're not designed not to move, so they're kind of snug, so you might have to push on it just a little bit harder. She says, okay, hold on a second. She sets the phone down. About a minute and a half goes by, and all of a sudden I hear, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Yes? What are you hitting? And what are you hitting it with? Well, the network card. What are you hitting it with? Well, a hammer. Okay, so I'm going to transfer you to our billing department, and they'll send you another one. <laughs> so you have people like that call in, but you can't blame them. They don't know what they're doing. I get it. Okay, that's why I'm there. The people that I hated were the ones that knew what they were doing. And they like to tell you. I had a network technician call in. I know this because that's the first thing he said. Thank you for calling SBC. How can I help you? Yeah, uh, I'm a network technician, so just to let you know, you don't have to ask me the stupid questions. You ask everybody else. If you're so smart, why are you calling me? Okay, fine. What seems to be the problem? I'm getting incorrect user ID or password. <laughs> okay. Are you putting in your entire email address at sbcglobal.net for your username? Well, like I said, I am a network technician. You don't have to ask me stupid questions. Awesome. Are you? <laughs> no. You have to. Click. <laughs> So, I did that for three years, and then, obviously not learning from my mistake, I then proceeded to do tech support for DirecTV for two! Uh, you did that too, huh? <laughs> anyway, so, here it is. 2008, six, I don't remember. I tried to block it out of my head. Hurricane Katrina has just blown through New Orleans. It, TV is down everywhere. 
People call in, we tell them all the same thing. You just had a hurricane. You probably can't see your TV. Lady calls in. She's determined she can see her television. Okay, all right, fine. You just had a hurricane pull through. There's a good chance your dish is not pointed the direction it needs to be. Yes, it is. Really? Yes. How do you know this? Because I marked on my dish where it needs to point, and I checked, and it is pointed in the correct direction. Awesome! Someone actually did that. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so you went up on your roof after a hurricane and made sure your dish was pointed right. Well, it wasn't that hard. Really? Well, yeah, see, my roof's in my front yard right now. <laughs> Okay, man, we're gonna have to ask you to put the roof back on the house and then we'll the dish back on the roof. Cool. One more thing about my tech support life, and then I'll let you all go enjoy your wine. Um, doing tech support for television is fun because you get to the point where you can start categorizing people. And a lot of people like to watch adult programming. Shh. A lot of people do it. Anyway, so I was able to categorize everybody that likes adult programming into three categories. There is the father and husband that doesn't want their wife to know. Um, yeah, I want to order dirty teenage college girls, but uh, can you put it on my credit card so it doesn't show up on my bill? Well, it's still going to show up on your credit card bill, but yeah, sure, okay, I can do that. <laughs> Then you have the people that want to watch the adult programming, but are embarrassed about it. But they still want it. Yeah, um, can, can I order channel 493? I love these people. I love these people because I always make them tell me the name of the program. <laughs> and thirdly, you have the people that watch adult programming that just don't care about them. I had a lady call in, and she said, yeah, um, I want to watch some porn. <laughs> okay, I can help you with that. What are you interested in? I don't know, but make sure it's got some dicks in it. Cause I'm gonna <laughs>